Right, so what I've done is I've got myself an off-cut piece of paracord. This is 550 paracord here. Um, I'll put a description in the description at the bottom uh, where I got my paracord from. And what I've done is I've centered it and placed it on my knife like so. What I've done then is I've split the leads coming out to a left hand lead and a right hand lead. Next first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the left hand lead and pass it over the right hand lead like so and then bring it back under again. I'm going to keep that finger touch keeping that gap there because you'll see why in a second. And the next thing I'm going to do is with the working end of the right hand lead I'm going to pass it underneath that lead there and up through the loop like so and just bring it up bring it up like so and then bring it down again now we've still got a little loop here on the bottom right next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lead here the one that's going off in that direction I'm going to take that lead and pass it through that loop there and you can see here now as I gently pull up on that we've got a lovely box shape appearing there and what I can do is at this stage I can now adjust it so that my, this knot can go up or down how I want it and I'm going to take it up a little bit because I just like the idea of it being fairly close to the top so I'll just take it closer to the top like so just pull that through and then work its way through the knot itself and there we go that is now much closer to the top and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up on that like so tighten all the four points and we end up with a nice flat square knot there and all we do this is great I love this knot it's so simple we then just go a little bit further down and we do exactly the same again so put my finger there take the right one over sorry take the left one over the right one and then bring it back underneath again like so and tuck it out over to the other side out of the way I then take the right hand lead here take the working end underneath that and up through the hole there like so pull it through and I'll put my thumb there to stop the loop closing up too much so I've put my thumb there and then I'll bring that lead down like so next thing I do is take the working end of this one here and I pass it through the hole where my thumb was so just do that again pass it through like so and then gently pull up on the knot and what I'm going to do is just pull up on all the ends and bring the knot up so it's closer to the other knot so I want to just take that one a bit just feed it through gently gently like so like so this is the hardest bit really is getting it all lined up so the knots in the right place take that through like so because we want to have the proper gap there you see it's slightly crooked there now I've got too much there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull through on that one there and then pull it on that side there you can see where the knot goes through as you're doing it like so like so like so and there we go we now have another knot in our lanyard and so we go there's our second knot in our lanyard okay it could be tidied up perhaps a little bit more but we've got a lovely little knot there and let's just go down and do the same again I'll just pull that one up a little bit tighter so they're the same size there we go and so once again left lead right lead I go over and then come back under again so just over and under that wasn't very descriptive but there we go hang on there we go okay so you can see there I've gone over this lead here and then come back under I then take this lead here that we've just gone over and under and I pass it underneath this one here and bring it out through the gap that we've created there and then once again just pull it through and you see that loop here we need to keep this loop here so I'm going to pull it through just gently 
and then bring that back down. And then the final step is we take this lead here and we pass it down through that gap there. And there we go. And we've now created another one. And you can see as I pull up that, we now get a nice square knot created. So just pull that excess through there, like so. Just get rid of the excess, like so, like so. And then once again, you can see here now, we've got a nice, another nice diamond or square knot there in our cord. And just pull them up tight and you can see that's rather decorative. And then we just keep doing that until we get the length of the lanyard that we want. Now personally, I'm gonna go for a little bit longer. So what I will do is I will do a few more and then show you again on the last one what I'm doing. So I'll come back to you in a second on that one just to keep this video short and sweet. See you in a second. So I've done a couple more and it's looking good. It's gonna fit nicely in my hand. And yeah, I'm very pleased with this. And the thing is, with regards to this knot, you can lengthen or shorten the loops in between. You know, you can, you can have it different. You don't have to necessarily have it exactly the same size. You can adjust it as you want. And the other thing is you can hang beads in between if you want to as you're doing it. Yeah, the choice is yours. Make it as decorative or as plain as you want. So one last final time, I'll show you just how to tie this knot and basically I take the left hand one and pass it over the right hand one and then back underneath again and so and then we'll keep that loop just there we then take the right hand one and we pass it underneath there and bring it up through the loop that we created there and bring it down and then the next thing we do is we take this one here and we just pass it down through that bottom loop that we've created there. And then once again, we tighten up on it. And you can see here now, just by gently teasing it through, we've created that lovely square or diamond pattern there. So, you know, in this particular case, I've got a bigger loop there. So if I want to, I can use that so that I can hang my knife at a later stage. Um, and then just pull that up really tight, cut the ends and then melt them so that it locks in place if that's the way you want to do it. Or you can finish it off with another knot. The choice is yours. And the other thing is, I keep going on about the finishing solution. If you like Johnny's finishing solution or you don't know about it, have a look in the description underneath and I'll tell you all about the finishing solution. Okay, and so that is basically it. I think what I'll do is I'm going to tighten this one up so it moves up a bit. Um, and you know, that it's, it's all personal preferences. But that is our beautiful knots there. So thank you very much again for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please do share it with others. Thanks very much then, bye bye.